Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single Friday. So as you can see on the title, today I'm going to be giving you five characters that are based on serial killers. I think that it's a great knowing what inspired to make these horror icons because some of them are pretty famous on horror movies and the community so this is what i'm going to be talking today so if you want to know which characters are based on real serial killers keep on watching okay now the first serial killer it doesn't have one or two but has four characters that are based on him some of them are more loose way but others you can see that the inspiration was there so the first one it's norman bates from psycho the second one it's Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Buffalo Bill from the Silent of the Lambs, and Bloody Face from American Horror Story Asylum. Also on American Psycho, we have the protagonist, Pratik Bateman. He says, you know what Ed James said about women? He said, when I see a pretty girl walking down the street, I think two things. One part of me wants to take her out, talk to her, be real nice, and sweet and treat her right. And the other part wonders what her head would look like on a stick. And you kind of see they're kind of giving a glance of a Jane. But I think in my opinion, the one that has the most notorious characteristic of a Jane is Bloody Face. If you have seen American Horror Story, the second season Asylum, you know that Bloody Face, he literally does what a Jane did. He was kill a woman and he would take the skin as a trophy. Um, obviously, the reason why Bloody Face does it is he has some more of a trauma. But um, obviously, if you haven't saw it and you want to see it i'm not going to give you any more spoilers because i know that's kind of a spoiler but he has some kind of child trauma with his mother and things like that so he wanted like that skin to skin touch so he became obsessed also he has medical knowledge and this is why he's kind of good at his job at first and he the only way he got trapped is because he got on tape his confession by the main protagonist of the series now other characters like norman bates and leatherface um i mean i don't really see it on leatherface rather just the fact that they you that the sawyers used like the flesh of the people and that he used it on as a mask and norman bates um i don't know norman bates is not precisely a necrophilic character but he does know how to take care of corpses and also dead animals and then we have buffalo bill who kill women and take off their flesh for making a, a suit so they're in their own way they all kind of make an homage to this character to this character of the america history and he's a well-known serial killer because of this so probably in the future we maybe see a whole movie just based on him like on real him because we have ted bundy and we have jeffrey dahmer but i don't have any knowledge of a movie documentaries probably but a real movie um, I don't know if this is something that I would like to watch, but probably can make some interest on his case. The second character is Hannibal Lecter, and he's inspired by the serial killer Alfredo Bali Trevino. Now, some of the characteristics of him was also placed on Buffalo Bill. So we can say that Buffalo Bill was an inspiration of NJ and Trevino. I can mostly see the Trevino influence on Hannibal Lecter because he could say that he can't he was able to put a body on a box and harris wanted to do a character that was able to comprehend the human's mind and this is something that he kind of saw while he was interviewing dr salsar and the fifth character will be miss bathory of hostel 2 that is our loose reference of contents elizabeth bathory who is also known as the bloody contest i actually did a blog post a few months ago and i'm going to be leaving the link on the description box down below if you want to read about her so if you have seen the movie stay alive you probably know about her but in case that you don't know she has the guinness record for being the woman with the most skills the legend we could say says that she was afraid of being old 
so she decided that she needed something because we're talking that in those times we didn't have botox or any type of a miracle product to make you look a little bit younger and what she found to look younger was the blood of young girls so everything starts because she slaps one of her mates because she accidentally pulled her hair while brushing it and it says that some blood kind of rest on her hand and she kind of saw that instantly became better and younger so she started to kill this woman and they torture her in order to get the blood and she will do bats of blood and in hostel part two we have Mirce Bathory that's the actual name of the character and we have this chamber that it's kind of looks like a bathroom like but it's not a bathroom but you kind of know that it's a bathroom if you know what I mean and we have this girl that she's upside down and then we have this woman that is completely naked and she kind of lays down and she starts to slowly kind of cutting her back and back and forth until she cuts her throat and all the blood comes down and she kind of starts doing this and you can see that she wants to be bathed in blood so it's like i say a loose reference if you want a more strong and more specific reference you can watch the slasher film stay alive it's not a great movie but it's kind of those bad movies that you can watch i used to watch it a lot when i was little so it's it's a comfort movie for me but i'm saying i'm not saying it's good but if you want something more from her go and watch that so as a summary the serial killer ed jane was the inspiration for the characters of norman bates leather face bloody face and a loosely version of buffalo bills we have alfredo trevino that was the inspiration for hannibal lecter and elizabeth bathory that was the inspiration for miss bathory of hostel part two and this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments if did you know about any of these characters if you know about other that i missed so let me know in the comments and i'm going to be seeing you guys next friday bye